Hello, 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 y'all. It is literally a winter wonderland out here. It's the first snow of the season. We just got literally like a couple inches, but it makes me so excited. And there's Bays Mountain way in the distance. It's beautiful and snow covered, but yeah. I just wanted to show you all the snow. There's my little awning. See my cat that's covered. So yes. And yes, honey, you know, it's 30 degrees, but Tyler Ramey's got on short. Wasn't that beautiful? Y'all, I first of all, before we even get into this, first of all, I don't know if I said this or not, but hello, 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 it bears repeating. Look at the snow in the background. Could this this could not be a more perfect backdrop for the Bath and Body, Body Works haul that I am about to bring you. And before we get into that, I just want you to know that this jacket, I got it at Belk, and it is the consistency of like a super soft blanket that you would get from like Target or TJ Maxx. And it's like that on the inside and it's like that on the outside, the same fabric. So it is super warm and cozy. It is currently uh, 31 today, the high is 32. And we got a couple inches of snow last night, which is unprecedented. And you know that it just makes me giddy as a clam. Like I am giddy as a schoolgirl. I mean, I just cannot hide my excitement for the snow and the cold. I just love it. I just love it. And so without further ado, I've had this for a while. I've been saving it for you. I've been saving this for you because I knew that I was getting candles. So I got a small haul from Bath & Body Works a couple weeks ago when I was with Mackenzie in Johnson City. And so I'm going to show you all the goodies in there. And I'm just going to be real honest with y'all. This was a complete ambient order. I ordered four candles. I didn't really remember it until the next day. I mean, I knew it, but I had kind of forgotten. So I was like, I'm just going to wait till the candles get here and then we're going to open everything together. How does that sound? So before we get to the candles, let me show you what I got at the store. Now listen, those of you that watched me last, uh, well, not last year, but like six months ago when the semi-annual sale came, honey, I acted a fool. I'm embarrassed. I got so much stuff. It became like a Beanie Baby collection. Like I wasn't even using this stuff. I just felt the need to go get it because it was 75% off. Insanity, right? Stupid. So I have been really good. I have not been in Bath and Body Works since the semi-annual sale. I broke down the other night. Mackenzie and I went to the mall. She went to a store that I had no interest in. And so I went to Bath and Body Works, which I should have known better. But that started me. And then candles were on sale. That got me. But this should this should tide me over until the next round of the semi-annual sale. Because you know that the next round of the semi-annual sale will start right after Christmas. And that always makes me happy. There's just something... I just love paying 75% off for Bath & Body. I'm, I'm just addicted to it. And I'm wearing... Y'all know I'm a Burt's Bees guy. But this is that chap ice. This is the Dollar Tree dupe for the Burt's Bees. I absolutely love it. It's not identical to Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees. But it's a very good dupe. It's a very good clone. And so if you like Burt's Bees, I highly recommend you checking out your Dollar Tree to see if you have those. Now, um, let's see. Bath and Body Works, blah, blah, blah. I had to do two transactions to get the deals because I had a coupon. So I will have these nearby and we can talk about prices as we go. So the first thing, y'all, if anybody has watched me for any length of time, you will know that I am a true grandma through and through. Truly. Somebody the other day said, you'd always talk about being a mamma and I always thought it was a joke, but you actually are. And I was like, yes, I totally am. So this is the Into the Night. And the reason I got this was because it was $4.95. You could get any body care item for $4.95 of the end of the night. So I got the 24 hour moisture ultra shea body cream. This retails for $13.50 and I got it for $4.95. So yes to that. Um, the fragrant, honey, tolerate me, need some caffeine. The fragrance notes on this are raspberry noir, amber crystals. Stop the presses and amber, you know, that's for me. Um, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. This is timeless, feminine, and alluring. Tyler Ramey, Tyler Ramey, Tyler Ramey. 
Um, evoke natural confidence and brilliant beauty from beginning of your day into the night. And it's got, I'm a sucker for packaging. So when you give me this little bling bling, you know it's gonna be good. And you get eight ounces. And y'all know I like to tell you the smell comparisons. Have you missed this? Have you? I just passed away and I just was re revived by this smell. If any of you are Dark Kiss fans from Bath & Body Works, you're gonna love this. It's almost like Dark Kiss meets powdery perfume. This smell right here, it's the middle of March. You're going to an event by somebody at your work and you're going as a date with them. And you meet the CEO, she's strong, she's in a power suit, she has chunky heels on, she has a purse that no one could afford and it's a real one, it's not from Chinatown. And you go to hug her because after a couple drinks you become friends with her and you're on really good terms with her and you give her a hug and this is what she smells like. Like a strong, powerful woman at the Christmas party, two drinks in. So it smells like. Oh, oh, oh. I've been waiting so long to get into this bag because I knew I was going to do this video. It smells divine. It's not as strong on as you think it's going to be. Like it's very light. It's just nice. And you, I almost get, when I rub it in, I almost get a citrus note, but I don't think there's any citrus in this. Raspberry. It's amazing. Love that. This is a good one that you could pull off all year long, truly. So there's that. Um, these were 50% off and I'm just a sucker for this. So I really love shower gels. To me, Bath & Body Works shower gels don't smell post shower, but they smell delicious in the shower. And that's enough for me to buy them because they make me happy. They clean me and they make me happy in the shower because of the scents. So this is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte in the shower gel. Normally it is $12.50, but it was half off. So this was $6.25. Um, this says fall tradition, stir the fireplace embers one more time and wrap yourself in the coziest blanket. I mean, the wording alone is enough to like put me on board. Now cup your hands around a frothy latte that says autumn is here. Notes, pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. Oh. I really do get like that praline vibe. I don't really get a coffee scent from this at all, but it's very much a sugary, vanilla, pumpkin-y delicious. And for half off, hello. And again, packaging. I'm all about feeling my seasons in the shower. And so this will totally put me in the mood. So that was half off. Um, this was half off. I was devastated that I could not find the uh, body cream that went along with this because this was half off. This is the Bonfire Bash in the Fine Fragrance Mist. Like, I need another Fine Fragrance Mist. But I love the kind of minimalist look of this line. Um, this was originally $14.50. It was half off, so I got it for $7.25. This one does not have notes on it, but it is Bonfire Bash, so it's supposed to be like the fall version of like the, um, the s'more. Campfire s'more. Mmm. You get that toasty, marshmallowy right off the bat. And the reason I was so devastated that they did not have any more of the body cream is because I have this in the body cream, in the body care, in this size, and I'm almost out. And I am beyond belief devastated. It is by far the strongest Bath & Body Works scent I have ever encountered in my life. I get compliments on it all day, every day, Bonfire Bash. So I'm excited that I do have this and I probably have, a, I don't know, four or five, six more uses of the cream. So I will savor it and I will spritz myself with this. So how it works in Tyler's Ramey's world is that I have like 40 as I walk down my laundry room steps to exit my house. I choose my jacket and then I choose my, my spray from like literally 30 of my Bath & Body Works sprays. And I spritz myself and I walk out the door. And without fail, as soon as I see someone and hug someone, they're like, you smell so good. It's my favorite compliment to get. So thank you, Bath & Body, that was half off. Um, I got, and I'm very excited, this was 350. I think I paid regular price for this, let's check. Yes, this was normal price, stupid. I shouldn't have got it, but I needed to bump myself up because I was trying to get my 10 off 30. 
So I got the, um, this is the car fragrance refills for the scent portable. Is that what they're called? I don't know what they're called. I think they're called scent portable. Anyway, it goes in the car and this one smells like camp site coffee. And I am super excited to try this one. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and change it out of this. Honey, the Mormons came by and I've had Jesus up in my thing riding along with me always a good idea. I don't know what that was, but it doesn't really smell anymore. Hmm. I'm still loving my Dollar Tree trash can, by the way, for those of you that remember that. So let's open this. It doesn't have notes. But Campsite Coffee. Oh my gosh, I can smell it already. Oh my gosh. This smells like you're late for a very important meeting, but you make time to go into Starbucks because you don't want to deal with the drive-thru, and as soon as you open the door, this is the whiff you get. Dang, that's good. Very, very good. Mm. So let me put that back in my holder. And this is my sweet little Julie gave this to me, but to be honest, I'm not sure Julie watches anymore. I never see any her, of her comments. Three Dogs Mom. She sent me this forever ago and I love it. And it just comes right up, or just clips right up here to the top. We'll put Jesus back up there with it. Delicious. And then we'll go through these relatively quickly. I got five of the hand sanitizers and I went with a Christmas theme. These were five for $6, I believe. They're either five for six or five for seven, probably five for seven because Bath & Body Works is going up on their prices, which is ridiculous. So I got a Into the Night to go with my body care in the antibacterial hand sanitizer. Smells delicious, just like, excuse me, the body cream. I got a Merry Cookie in the hand sanitizer. No notes on these. Very vanilla, very bake shop, very cookie-like. Um, I got a Twisted Peppermint. Now, honey, we'll talk about this when we get to the candles, but this is one of Tyler Ramey's all-time favorite scents. Love Twisted Peppermint. I don't really know how to describe it, but we'll talk about it when we get to the candle. It's, it's literally one of my favorite things on planet Earth. Frosted Coconut Snowball which I'm also very excited to smell. I'm pretty sure I got this in a candle. Mm. Love that. And last but not least, another one of Tyler Ramey's very favorites, Vanilla Bean Noel. Oh my gosh. And we'll talk about this in the candle, so I'm not gonna get too overly excited right now. It's hard with the hand sanitizers. They really are very quite strong, but you have to put them on and rub them in before you can get like the full effect. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's it for that. So let's put that back. Now, I did get a candle that day that was not part of my hashtag ambient order. And the reason I got this was because these were either, these were 50% off, I believe. I think they were 50% off. They were either 50% or more, but I think it was just 50. And typically I would not go for this smell this is vanilla birch, but y'all, when I smelled it, it became my all-time favorite. Look at that wood detailing on the top. Isn't that cute? This one says, white birch, Madagascar vanilla, warm sandalwood, and essential oils. I don't even know how to describe this one. It is very woodsy, almost smoky, and then you've got that vanilla, mm, it's just nice. Mm -hmm. This smells like a lumberjack that comes home after a hard night and had some vanilla cake and gives you a little smooch and it's on his breath. Amazing. So that completes my in-store order. Now let's open up and see what I can remember ordering from the candle sale. Now these candles were $11.95 each and I got free shipping maybe something I don't remember yes they were $11.95 each free shipping and handling and it looks like I've got a coupon in here for an online order for 20% off so that's exciting 
20% off. This is what Christmas smells like. So see right now they're really pumping like the traditional Christmas scents. Oh my gosh, y'all. I cannot wait. So the first one, let's just pull it out. Okay, I'm not very excited about this one. I'll tell you why. I ordered it on a whim. I'm probably going to switch it out in the store. Um, I don't think I'm a huge fan of it. I might be wrong. It's the winter candy apple. I feel like I bought this thinking that I would like it and I smelled it in the store and was like, oh no, I don't like that. Candied apples, crisp pear, orange, and essential oils. No, don't like that. It might be fine for other people, but it reminds me of a summer scent, which just sends me screaming because it's not the time. I like it, but it's just not the time for this. This one will be going back. If you like uh, fruity, sweet smells, then you might like this, but this is not for me. I love the packaging. Could not love the packaging more, but that ain't gonna be for Tyler Amy. Now this one, I'm so excited about, and I really want to love this. I will tell you though, with Bath & Body Works, I always get so excited, and they always smell delicious and then you burn them. And I don't know about you guys, but like the throw on candles is never strong enough for me. And I don't know if it's because I have like 30 foot ceilings or what, but I feel like all the smell zaps up to the ceiling and I can't smell it. Now I do like the coziness. I like sitting there and having the coziness, but is coziness really worth $11.95 a candle? I'm not sure. They don't really last that long, but we'll see. Oh my God. I don't want to cry. This smells so good. It smells like buttery coconut. Let's see what the notes are. Toasted coconut, vanilla musk, whipped cream, and essential oils. To me, it smells like a buttery mounds. Like you took a, like you took a mounds bar and dipped it into butter and then ate it. That is very nice. Very nice. I know that coconut is not typically a traditional Christmas scent of what you think of, but this is nice. And I love that color and I love the packaging. Bath and Body Works just makes me smile. So maybe $11.95 is worth it. Um, next up, let's do Twisted Peppermint. Honey, look at this pale pink wax. You cannot go wrong. This is an absolute Christmas staple and I swear to you, I can smell it and it's not even been opened. The scents on this one are Cool Peppermint, and I was about to say earlier, it smells cold. Cool Peppermint, don't know how they do that. Sugared Snow, what does that smell like? Vanilla Buttercream, Fresh Balsam, interesting. I never smell Christmas tree in this, with a hint of musk and essential oils. Are you ready? Y'all, I've been using this in the shower. I have the shower gel from last semi-annual sale from last year that I've been using. I do get that balsam. That has to be different. It's layered. It's like you first, you instantly get that little bit of the cool peppermint, but then the deeper you smell, you get that little bit of the balsam and then the vanilla at the tail end. If you want, if you want Christmas in a bottle, then Twisted Peppermint is going to be your friend. And they have this in the body care. They have all the things. And who could not like that pink wax? I'm so excited about this one. That's so interesting that I can smell the Christmas tree in that. I, I typically cannot. I don't think. And this is one of my very favorites. There's no mistaking that shade of green. It's time for Vanilla Bean Noel. I'm in love with this packaging, by the way. In love with the entire line. This one is vanilla bean, marshmallow fluff, vanilla cake, and essential oils. Mm. You work part-time at a bakery, but you love it. It's around Christmas time. You've got Christmas music playing. You're making a big vat of icing in a KitchenAid stand mixer, and part of it comes up and hits you in the face, and this is the smell. It's just a stereotypical, strong, vanilla deliciousness. I mean, there's no mistaking the smell. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. Like if somebody was like, what's your favorite like icing smell, bake shop vanilla smell? It's this one, Vanilla Bean Noel. I just love it. You totally get that, the marshmallow fluff and the vanilla bean. It's just so nice. 
there you have it. Honey, I've done it all. Um, thank you for watching. I, again, the only one that I'm probably going to return is this winter candy apple. It's nice. It's just not for me. It's too summery. It smells like an icy. Like, it smells like a slushy to me. No. In July? June, July? Sure. Right now? No. 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 Like, I'm on the Santa train, honey. There ain't no getting off of it. I've been going on for 20 minutes. We're going to end this. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that little bell notification. You'll be notified every single time I upload a video. And don't forget to... Um, connect with me in the social media below. I'm on Instagram, tramey1. Yes, tramey1. Um, I'm also on Facebook, so find me down there, connect with me, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. I love you, and I mean it. Goodbye.